How's it going guys, it's Starkhead 5 here, and today I finally bring you the how-to installation for the Clone Wars 4.0 mod, since so many of you have requested it, so I'm going to do it, but just to be warned that I do have something to say at the end in concerns of technical difficulties, so stick around to the end, but uh, I will be doing both retail and Steam version of how-to. Um, I'm going to start with the retail version, so if you only have the Steam version, then click on the annotation that's going to appear in the video now, and it will take you to the point where the Steam version should start. So anyway, let's begin with the retail version. Now, you obviously need to go grab the Clone Wars mod. There you go, just type into Google and just type in Empire War Forces of Corruption Clone Wars mod, and it should be the first thing that comes up, this one right here. Now, just click on it. And it should take you to a screen like this. For both Steam and Retail, you're going to need this. So, yep, that seems like the right version. Click on Downloads, and click on the Star Wars, the Clone Wars version 4.0. And just click on Download now to start downloading. This pop-up should come up. If it doesn't start, it's basically saying if it doesn't start downloading, then just click on this link right here. But it has started to download, so I'll get back to you when it downloads. While it's downloading as well, you're going to need something to open the files, like WinWAR or another program like it. You do, you are going to need this for both retail and Steam, no matter what, and you're going to need something to open the files. Don't worry, it's safe, free, and hasn't got any viruses in it. The one that I have in the link description should be fine. Um, I think it's kind of like, you know, one which you can keep on using. So basically, just click on the link in the description, it should take you to a page like this and just download WinRAR. Once it's downloaded, it should look like something like this, uh, with the WinRAR symbol called mods, double click on it to open it, and then you want to right click, give it to that, right click and extract the files. So just click on the extract without confirmation bit, which should start extracting the files. Now since I've already extracted it, I'm not gonna show I'm not gonna waste time with this. So I'll show you where to put it. Once extracted, it should just be another basic folder like this. So you'll want to copy this, and then you'll need to find the root directory for the Forces of Corruption uh, data. Basically, just where all the Forces of Corruption data is kept on your computer. So for me, and for probably most of you, it will be on computer, local disk, program files in brackets 86, and then for retail, it should be under the LucasArts folder here, and then in Forces of Corruption then you want to paste it into the mods folder. If not, then just click on new folder and then just call it mods. You will need to call it mods though. So in the mod folder and then you place it in here and it's already in here called Star Wars Clone Wars 4, which is the same file from the WinRAR. And once you put it in there, uh, it should be ready to go, uh, but you'll need something to launch it. So go back to Google. There's two different ways for retail. Go back to Google type in Star Wars Empire War Forces of Corruption mod launcher it should be the first link it should look like this and then click on download now install it to your desktop and it should read the mod in there um, but if not there is actually another way which I just saw recently uh, if you open up the folder itself uh, it comes with this Star Wars Clone Wars 4 mod.exe which is actually its own launcher so all you have to do for this is just, well, double click on it, open it, and then it will actually run the game for you. So it actually comes with its own launcher, which is, I think, fantastic for all of us. So if the mod launcher from Google doesn't work or from the previous link doesn't work, then use this one that comes with uh, the mod itself. So if you want to pin it to the taskbar like I have done down here, this is what this symbol looks like. So. Yeah, um, once it's placed in the mods folder, it should work fine. Just use either one of the launchers to start it up. And that's it. That's how you play the Clone Wars for the retail or disc version of the game. Uh, tune in to the end of the video where I kind of talk a bit about technical difficulties of what people say. But right now we're going to jump to how to install it on Steam. Uh, there should be an annotation to just jump to the end if you don't have the Steam version, but sit tight and we'll do the Steam version. Okay, so this is how we install the Clone Wars version 4 mod for Steam. So, as like the retail version, just go to Google, type in Star Wars Empire War Forces of Corruption Clone Wars, and it should be the first link. Click on it. Click on Downloads. 
click on the top one which should be version 4.0 and then just click on download now and then if it doesn't start to download click on the link you will need something like WinWAR to open the file so I put a link in the description below it should look like this and just download WinWAR once both of those have downloaded it should look like something like this the WinRAR symbol with the mods folder uh, again like last time um, extract that so just click on extract without confirmation and it will take out all the files then you'll want to copy that file to where the, it's located on Steam so this is where it is so let's copy this and then you're going to need to find it on Steam so for me and I'm not sure if it will be for you because it might be different depending on your computer but for me it's on computer local disk program files 86 then steam then go to steam apps then go to common and then it should be empire of war um, f quick side note if you wanted to do mods for the original game click on game data and this is the stuff for the original title but we're going to want to go to corruption at the top and this is where the force of corruption data is so I've created the mods folder again if it's not there then just click on new folder at the top and create it and then we're going to paste it in alright so the file is there now we need to do just one more step um, of course go to steam then right click on it go down to properties and then set launch options and you're going to want to copy and paste this in which basically launches the modded version and what it means by mod name is the name of the folder so go back to the mods click on the folder just click on it twice separately so you can copy the name and then go back to steam and then in here you want to replace it with this uh, so it looks like this basically SWFOC mod path equals mods forward slash Star Wars Clone Wars 4 make sure it's the exact name of the folder that is crucial click on OK and then click on Empire at War Gold make sure you tick forces of corruption and then click play and it should load up the game modded and that is how you install the mod for Steam um, I'm gonna talk about just technical difficulties for both versions so that's just gonna happen in just a second alright this I just want to say a quick message about people saying difficult technical difficulties because I just tried both versions of retail and Steam I literally uninstalled the mods to reinstall to see if they work and both methods for me worked perfectly fine there was no problems whatsoever so if you guys have encountered any problems like it just doesn't work um, I'm sorry to say that obviously during this tutorial I literally it was a test for myself and both worked for me so I'm not sure why yours didn't work um, if you do have a problem paste in the comments below and I will try to help you but if I can't then I do encourage other people to try and help problems if they know the answer to because well obviously I just tested both and both worked fine so if there is a problem then I haven't seen it and I haven't encountered it so I wouldn't be of much help but if there is other people out there who know some solutions then please help everyone out because I get a lot of messages to say that this mod looks awesome they want to play it but they can't I really want to help them but the problem is I haven't encountered the problem so I'm not sure what it is that's not working it might be to do with the hardware it just might be had to do with something that I haven't seen but both methods for me work perfectly fine so if there is a problem again just paste it in the comments below what the problem is and hopefully I or someone else in this community community there will help out and if you do know the solution please help everyone out so um, thank you for watching I'm Starkiller5 and don't forget to like and subscribe if this tutorial did help out and I will see you in the next video may the force be with you goodbye and good luck